<sighs> okay. Locked in. What? What? Welcome back to the channel guys, today we are playing The House, so this isn't the house that we've played before, this is a completely different game, so yeah, I think there's not much else to say, let's just get into it. Also guys, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button to be notified when my videos go up next, especially if you enjoy these videos, that really does help. Hell, if you're feeling generous, even hit up with like. The tragic events of that day still intrigue not only the FBI but the whole country and it has become one of the most bizarre cases that has ne uh, never been solved. There are reports of people who say they hear the de deafening screams just by going near this place. Okay? Colorado, 1979. Why does your family have a house here in the middle of nowhere, Scott? I think it belongs to my great-grandfather, the oldish man bought this house at auction a long time ago. My family never managed to sell it and it was abandoned for some years. So, now it is mine. Of course they didn't. This house is falling apart. How old is it? Relax bro, the furniture is almost new. I can't believe I left my aerobics, aerobics class for this. Guys, Nobody in my family wants this house. We can do whatever we want here. Nobody will care if we break something, have a party, or even demolish this crap. Okay. Okay. You've already convinced me. Ashley and I will go in and have a look around the house. I'm excited for today. I've always had a crush on Scott. He just recently broke up with my friend Sarah, so I don't want to be a douchebag. I only came on this trip because Ashley didn't want to be the only girl here. Is this like an interview thing? It's just like a camera in front of me. It's like, yeah, I'm here because I like him and uh, my friend just broke up with him, so I'm just gonna, you know, crawl in her grave. Like, what? why? What, what was the point of this dialogue? I better hurry up and get my backpack out of the van. It's like got puppet, puppet combo vibes, but actually, you know, first person. Uh, I can't open it. Maybe Scott can help me. I will check the uh, tires before I park the van near the house. You can go ahead. Here is your backpack. You can put it in the bedroom on the second floor. Okay, thanks. A quick backpack. Kill. Cool. Aha! Now we're cracking. Bag! Now I can meet everyone downstairs. Oh wow, she just disappeared, like. I actually like the smooth, like, it's really smooth, like, you know, sensitivity-wise, everything is very nice. Newspaper. March 6th, 1944, missing Noah Campbell. Two days ago, the 17-year-old boy Noah Campbell was hunting with his father when he disappeared in the woods. Today, the police found the boy's blood and a piece of his pants in an area known to inhabit mountain lions. The boy's body was not found at the scene, indicating that the boy managed to escape the attack. Uh-huh, Ashley. This damn tap doesn't work. Can you go outside and ask Scott to fix this crap? Okay. I suppose I'm everyone's errand boy then. Clearly. Scott! Where are you, Scott? There you are. Hi, Scott. There seems to be some problems with the plumbing in the house. The taps don't work. Brian told me. We are going to the next town to buy some drinks and something to eat. I will call a plumber as soon as I get there. We have to shake this place up. Did you bring a radio? This is a very old house. There must be a radio somewhere. Can you and Ashley look for it while we do the shipping? The shopping? Sure. Oh, there she is. I would help you, but I don't want to wear out the fingernails missing around in this old house. You can put the radio on this table if you find it. Well, you're a fucking bitch. A key. Collect a key. Old paper. Honorable discharge. This is to certify that Henry F. Smith, Medical Research Department of the Army, 
of the United States is hereby honorably discharged from the military service of the United States of America. This certificate is awarded as a testimonial of Homestead faithful service to his country. Date, 13th September 1943. Round about the World War II, that's... Okay. Don't know if that has anything to do with that. Okay, so this was the key for that door. And there's the radio. Here's the radio. I'd better take this downstairs. What's that? Flashlight. Maybe this will be useful. Of course it'll be useful. It's gonna come in useful. It always fucking does. There we go. Done. It's not working. It seems that the batteries are missing. <sighs> Let me guess. You're not gonna help. I would help you, but I don't want to wear out the fingernails messing around in this old house. People have paintings like that, yeah. That's normal painting. Normal painting. Old note. Rebuilding brain tissue seemed crazy at first. I have worked with this all my life and now this they discard me. Like an animal, I served so much time, so many secrets, so many deaths. They forced me to sign a confidentiality a document so all my work, my life story, stayed in the army. Okay, so he was a scientist in the US Army. That's actually quite intriguing. Batteries. Cool. Wait, what? Am I a little... I am a little dizzy. It must be dehydrated. My right, bitch! Here's your batteries. It's working now. I'll ask Ashley if she brought a water bottle. Did you bring any uh, a water bottle? No, I wouldn't have thought that this dump wouldn't have water. I am not feeling very well. I'm a little dizzy. If I know Brian and Scott well, they won't bring anything non-alcoholic to, uh, to drink. There is a well next to the house. Go there to drink water. If you get worse, we can go to the hospital. I'm sure it is nothing serious. I'm going there. Okay then. Off to the well. There must be some bucket around the house. Ah, oh, I hate it when games do this. Where they make you go all the way to the location just to go all the way back to the house to get the fucking bucket that I saw earlier. Fucking forgot, didn't I? I, I was looking around the house for fucking ages and I realised the bucket's in you. Is this water good to drink though? Really? It's a key. Seems that the bucket came with a key. That's normal. <laughs> I found this key in the well. Try to look for where it fits. Maybe you will find something valuable in this house. Yeah, because we're just going to steal it. It's our friend's house. Oh, is this door? Okay, I thought it was going to be the basement, but... This place is empty. I expected something more interesting. We're back! Finally, you are here. What took you so long? We had some unforeseen problems. I had to call the plumber who oh, can only come tomorrow morning. We brought the drinks. Did you find the radio? Yes, it was in one of the rooms on the second floor. Right, what are we waiting for? Let's party! <laughs> really? Alright, okay, so... We're the boring one. So, uh... What are we gonna do? Ah! What? The fuck? Yeah! It was that... Boom! Did we just... Did we... Did, did, did we seriously just go through that, that creepy hole? Right, because that's normal. Fucking normal. <sighs> the test with the last corpse was almost a success, but it seems 
that the body didn't last more than 30 seconds. Sheriff Campbell always hated me. He was sure that I was involved in the disappearance of that damned boy who was his nephew, which didn't help much. They went through at my house, found some experiments with rats in the basement, which was enough to destroy all my work. All my progress has now been absolved by the foundation of the house. It is just a matter of time for me to reach perfection. Okay... After a while, a huge emptiness and depression overwhelmed me. I was lost, but it seems that God guided him from my purposes. For a while, I was confused. He knocked on my door. His leg was bleeding profusely. I thought of bandaging it, but I felt that this visit was not a mere coincidence. I started cutting his tendons. Poor boy. He was screaming without knowing the greatness of his existence. I was so euphoric that slowly his heart stopped, but this event cleared my mind. Now I knew what I had to what had to be done. God guided him to me. I could not interfere in his destiny. What the fuck? Bruh, your family are not a uh, very nice people. Okay then, that was something. So he's a murderer. <laughs> oh! What are you doing? What are you doing? Like, who does that? Motherfucker! We'll build a fire outside. I'll wait for you there. Fuck you! Bro, you're a fucking asshole. I found a strange room in the basement with some sinister notes. I don't know if I will have the courage to sleep in this house. No one has lived in this house for decades. If the first owner was a dangerous person, he must be in diapers or has already kicked the bucket. I am not sure about this. No imbecile is going to come walking to this house in the middle of nowhere. Because of his bloodlust, this only happens in the movies. Maybe in Los Angeles, try to relax a little bit. You must be right. Okay. Don't you think you've had too much to drink? But I haven't even finished my first beer yet. This is the 10th time you have said this, and you are always holding a different can. Whatever, Scott, my brother. Uh, your parents are so cool to give you a house. To be honest, my parents did not give me this house. They are cheap steaks, skates. They didn't. They don't even know we came here. Cool, you're the man, Scott. Damn it, Scott. Are you serious? I didn't lie when I said that this house is abandoned. My parents do not care. Just relax. The only thing we have to worry about is the eye collector ma maniac. Now didn't we just have a conversation Scott and you just told me there is no maniac that will be coming in this area and now you're going on about the fucking eye collector maniac you douchebag. While brutally murdering his victims he liked, the ga liked to gouge out their eyes while they were still alive to keep us a souvenir. I heard that his favourite victims were women. Besides, this house was the place where he made his last killings. I've never heard about this. You're, wait you're making it up. That was a long time ago. Of course you have never heard of it. You told me it was not dangerous here. Told you! You knew that was going to backfire. I was just trying to calm you down. Shut up, Scott. I need to take my allergy medication. I'm going in. Me too. I'm tired of being around these assholes. Come on, I'm just kidding. Nope, you guys are fucking douchebags. Drinking on an empty stomach was not a good choice. I'll eat something. So I presume we're supposed to go to our room to get our allergy medication. Don't know why we have an issue of allergies in the middle of nowhere. Okay, that seemed to be the only use of our bag because our bag disappeared. Okay. I do believe they were not allergy pills. <laughs> the fuck? 
Huh. Why? Holy shit. This medicine makes me a little sleepy. What time is it? Where is Ashley? The fucking dream? It was a fucking dream? It wasn't a fucking dream. Oh. Ashley's fucked. Sounded like someone screaming in the basement. Well. Oh my god. What the fuck is happening here? I just walked down here, bro. I'm pretty sure I didn't see the fucking woman stuck in the floor. Okay. It's locked in it. What? What? Stay away from me. <laughs> Scott. Are you the maniac eye collector? What? No, that doesn't even exist. I was just making fun of you. The only person who died in this house was my great grandfather. He died the first day he came here, but he was old and died of a heart attack. Ashley ran out of the basement. I thought you would be braver. Are you fucking kidding me? I saw her fucking body in the basement, Scott. Are you trying to scare me too? I'm serious. Shit. She might have tripped it on, on the stairs. The body was on the fucking ceiling. What? You are trying to play a trick on me. I'm fucking serious. What's your problem? Okay, let me check it out. Okay. No, we're not allowed to go that way now. Oh. Of course. Let's go towards the bright light. Don't make sense. Don't make sense. What the fuck is that, Brian? What has this thing done to you? C please. What the hell are you? A fucking parasite? No. I'm more. I need to get out of this place now. What? Ah! Oh, okay. Run would be the good idea. That's annoying. Because that makes everything... Oh, great. Only one way to go. Huh, window. Jump out. No, that is that is great logical sense. Like, in any scenario, right? Yeah, you see a lot of these horror flicks that, like, they just will not jump out the window, but... It's the logical explanation in this scenario. You jump out the fucking window, bruh. What? Holy fucking Jesus. Oh! What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Run. Run from the motherfucker. Okay, I, I'm just interested. I didn't know we were playing Monster House. Ow. Oh, who the fuck is this? Oh, it's the plumber. <laughs> that don't make... No. On a Friday morning, Mark Williams, a 37-year-old plumber, was on call to fix plumbing in a house far from town. His service van was found several miles away from the scene, and according to the investigation, it had probably collided with a truck. It has been more than 20 years since the disappearance of Scott Thompson, blah, blah, blah. According to information provided by a shopkeeper and other witnesses in the nearby, the youngsters were spending the weekend at a nearby house. 
In a statement, the parents of the young Scott Thompson, one of the missing, reported that they owned a house near the site but it had been demolished years ago. The documents uh, and the police investigation at the site confirm this. How? Because we were in a house, bruh. Don't you think that's something you would take? During the investigation, the police found a homemade mask and a bloody knife near the ru uh, the rubble in the old house. The blood on the knife was Scott Thompson's. Everything points to a serial killer, but even after years of searching, the suspect has never been found. Wow, see, now this is what happens when you try and scare the fuck out of people and you all die. You get blamed, bruh. Even after years of the investigation, the only concept evidence the police could find was that the place existed at some point in time. The house. I like it. This 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 was really good, guys. This was really good. I really really enjoyed this game, and I did like you know everything about it was n pretty much perfect, right? The story was good, right? Yeah, like anyone that makes an effort to make a story in a game, right? I really do enjoy because it really adds something to it. You know, it's not very detailed, but it's a good story, and it leaves things in that that makes, you know, like questions. It makes questions, theories, which I love that kind of stuff. Um, I think the movement, everything about that was great. I love the graphics, love this type of stuff. Um, it was kind of like a little bit more updated than PSX graphics, though, which was quite, quite I actually enjoyed it. Um, Everything about it was absolutely brilliant and it was a really good short horror game and this is how they should be made. Um, really enjoyable and I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. Uh, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell button to be notified when my videos go up next guys. Um, also please be sure to hit that like button and yeah just give me a comment tell me what you thought of this. Um, I really enjoyed it. The, the scares weren't really really bad either like well they weren't frequent like they were there but they were there when it was necessary and that's what i like you know uh, it built up the story i love things that do that i love games that do that but yeah apart from that thank you very much guys and goodbye